Well, hey guys, Jason Wheeler here, one of the pastors at North Park Church here in Columbus, Nebraska, and very grateful to once again be bringing your life group message to you for the week. And uh, this week we take a, a one-week departure from our authentic series, and we are going to discuss which side you are actually on in this uh, spiritual battle that we are all engaged in. Which side does the evidence indicate that you are, are sitting on right now? And the, the key verses that we're going to be using this week are from 2 Corinthians, uh, that's chapter 10, verses 1 through 6, 2 Corinthians 10, 1 through 6. Um, I will go ahead and read those verses out loud right now. You guys follow along in your Bibles, and then we will jump into some discussion questions. So here we go. I, Paul, myself, entreat you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ I who am humble when face to face with you, but bold towards you when I'm away. I beg of you that when I am present, I may not have to show boldness with such confidence as I count on showing against some who suspect us of walking according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we are not waging war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to de destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God, and take every thought captive to obey Christ, being ready to punish every disobedience when your obedience is complete. Okay, so re remember what's going on here. We discussed this in the message on Sunday, is that um, Paul has gotten word from um, uh, Titus that there is a group of people, a section of the church in Corinth that is saying some harsh stuff about him. They're saying that, yeah, Paul is super bold in his letters, but when he's face to face with you, he's, he's gentle and he's weak. That's basically what's going on. So this is Paul's response to that, the verses that we just read. So question one, what stands out to you from our key verses? What, what's in these verses that just jumps out at you? Go ahead and take a few minutes to talk about that now. Okay, so for, for question two here, uh, you, you see Paul in these verses. You've got the people that um, Paul is, is writing to in these verses. Uh, you've got the people that Paul is writing about in these verses. Who do you relate to most from today's verses and why. Go ahead and pray about that and talk about it now. Okay, in question three, remember uh, in the message, one of the, the first things that we, we clearly see in here is that Paul is fighting, right? He's, he is firing back against this segment of people that are, are saying these things about him and, more importantly, about his ministry. So we talked about his motivation to fight. His, his motivation is that it would be a stumbling block for other people to not address this situation. He's, he's not fighting to bring honor to himself. He's not fighting to be understood. He's not fighting for respect. He's fighting... Um, so that people may have the opportunity to see where they are sitting, which side they are on. Ultimately, he's, he's fighting for the opportunity for people to be saved. So for question three, what motivates you to fight? And what are your tactics? Maybe discuss uh, fights that you're thinking about engaging in now or that you have engaged in recently. And be willing to be honest about this and discuss why you have fought those fights or why you're thinking about fighting those fights and then the methods or tactics that you use to, to, to try and win your fight. Go ahead and talk about that now. Okay, and so for question four, as we discussed in the message, as we see in these verses, uh, as I talked about a couple minutes ago, can you name an example of a righteous fight from your life? There are righteous fights. There are reasons to engage. There are righteous mo motivations and, and righteous methods. So can you name an example of a righteous fight from your life? 
go ahead and talk about that now. And then for question five, remember this, these verses and this message was, was not so much a, a message of, um, of, of application. And what I mean by that, there should always be application. There's, there's always application from God's word every day of your life. You should be trying to apply something. You should be applying something. But what I mean by this is we're not looking at these verses and saying, okay, here are the steps that I take to apply to my life so that I get on the right side. Only God can put you on the right side. What we are trying to get a picture of here is the evidence of a person that's on God's side as opposed to evidence of a person that's on the other side. So the takeaway question today, question five, what side does the evidence say that you are on today? Uh, be willing to let the Holy Spirit speak to you, convict you, deal with you on that, and, and be honest. And that's it for this week. Hope you guys have had a good time, and I'll see you next week.